I am so sorry guys. I bumped the camera and it screwed me up. Part two. <laughs> okay, if you're still with me, God bless you. I'm going to get under the eye over here on the other side and we're going to continue on. I needed to back it off a little bit. I was up too close with the camera. Okay, let's do this side. Now, you'll notice that I'm getting black up in there. It's burning. But you can go back over it lightly and take away that black or leave it, depending on the effect you want. But see how that eyeball, oh, look at that eyeball. Yeah, baby. We're running into some white. See that white? That means there's a tad bit of rot right there and it's softer. You gotta be careful. If you hit it too hard, you're gonna mess up your, your project. But uh, it works for now. Sometimes the white is uh, pretty dang serious and, and it's soft and it just goes poof. But, um, other times it's just starting to rot and it's not too bad. I'm gonna round this nose a little bit better. Hope you can see. I hope I don't bump my camera again and screw it up and have to go again. Yeah, I'm brand new to this uh, making videos and my uh, my camera is actually, I've got some clamps and uh, a dowel. I don't even have an official holder for my uh, camera, which I'll get eventually, I suppose, but hell, I'm poor. That's why I make these things so I can sell them. Um, you know what? Right now he's blind. Let's let's give him a let's give him a there we go. Now he wants to look over this way a little bit. It's like oh. <laughs> um okay. Let me put on an, a, a sanding burr or not a burr but a sander. And when you do a sander, you want it way low. I put mine at about 10, it's 10,000 RPM. Because if you go up there to uh, 25, 35 with a sander, um, it stresses out your Dremel real bad. I've actually blown up a Dremel before by doing so, I didn't know better. And uh, you know what though? Oh my God, Dremel, the Dremel company is flipping amazing. I was worried. And I called Dremel and I said, hey, this is what happened. How can you help me? The little lady at customer service, she said, Robert, just, just, uh, she gave us, uh, she gave me an address. No, what did she do? Oh, I know what she said. I'm sorry. I'm thinking three things at the same time. She said, um, we're going to send you a brand new Dremel. You get it in about three days. When you receive your Dremel, I want you to take it out and then put yours inside of it. Uh, tell us a little, uh, we'll send you a form as to uh, tell us what's going on. And uh, we'll send you a packing label and uh, send that one back to us. You don't have to send accessories, we just want the machine. And uh, presto change, we're done. And I'm like, wow, that was amazing. So, uh, yeah, I got myself a brand new 4300. Um, I, it actually melted on me. See how this has kind of a rubber coating to it right there? The Dremel itself is up there. 
hanging from the ceiling. And the Dremel itself melted right through here. I couldn't believe it, man. There's like little bubbles coming up. I, 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 I it was toast, man. It started to bubble, started to smell, and then bam, it was done. Thank God it didn't explode or something. But uh, so anyway, run it at a slower speed. Okay, we're running at about 10,000 RPM. I'm gonna touch this up, we sand it up a little bit. Oh, I, you know what? I do think that this is cedar. Look at that red. Now, I'm sorry that we're at two videos for this because this guy here was relatively easy. If you practice these, you can crank out a face on a piece of driftwood, touch it up a little bit. And in this case, we're making, we're making a staff and I'm gonna do several of these up and down the staff, but you can get your, yourself a little a little piece of wood. You can even do these on um, on uh, old rolling pins, and those sell like crazy, by the way. Um, pretty fast. You can knock the you can knock one of these out in a half an hour, and you can sell them for twenty, thirty dollars. My staff. Now I haven't sold it. I can't confirm, but I'll bet. The other staff that I made like this, that I'm I'm gonna kinda do one like this one, like that one, I'll bet I could sell it for 250. So uh, there's money to be made, boys and girls. Get yourself a Dremel. You know what? I'm liking this guy. Okay, um, I don't wanna take up too much of your guys' time. So I'm going to call it on this one, and uh, we'll start up another video, I'll make another face, and uh, this is going to have to be a series, because this takes a little bit longer than I had anticipated, but if you stick with me, maybe uh, another few, three or four or so videos, we're going to turn this into a friendship staff, yeah baby. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.